This video is sponsored by Brilliant. After eating a pizza, a pan of brownies, two stacks of pancakes, and a big sub, David and Lucas are still hungry. This time, they have a delicious square cake with frosting on all four sides and the top. Feeling generous, they invite their friends Cassie and Juliet to join them. The gang wants to cut it so that each person receives the same volume of cake and the same amount of frosting. That's easy. Cut it like this to get four identical pieces. But just before they start cutting, the doorbell rings. It's Kai. Now there's a problem. David and Lucas have to share their cake with yet another person, and Cassie and Juliet realize that they don't know how to split a cake five ways. So what do they do? Here's the approach. Looking from overhead, divide each side into five identical segments. Starting at this corner, mark off every fourth point, going around the corners if necessary. Joining these marked points to the center gives the lines where we will cut. Voila! Everyone has the same amount of cake and frosting. Why does this work? The key trick depends on the formula for the area of a triangle. Area equals one half base times height. For the regions that go around a corner, we can see how things work by making an extra cut. Now each person gets one or two triangles, all of which have the same height, half the square, and a total base of four segments, so each region must have the same area. This implies that each person gets the same volume of cake and the same amount of top frosting. They all get the same amount of side frosting, namely four segments times the height of the cake. So, everyone gets the same amount of cake and frosting. In fact, we can slide the cutting points to any position and this method will still work, as long as each person gets an edge length that's four segments long. Additionally, you can make cuts for any number of people. For example, if you have 10 people, you can divide each side into 10 segments and cut at every fourth point to get the same fair division of cake. Well, David and Lucas are more than ready to eat, but Juliet is so excited to share this cake-splitting strategy that she invites a huge group over. Everyone gets their fair slice, but split so many ways, this isn't much cake. Now the question is, what will David and Lucas eat next? This video has been brought to you by Brilliant. If you like the geometry problem presented in this video, I've found several similar puzzles at Brilliant for you to think through. These range from simple to complex and they make it fun. The Brilliant courses Joy of Problem Solving and Logic also help you to understand these concepts, build up your intuition through problem solving, and arrive at interesting conclusions. To learn more about Brilliant, go to brilliant.org slash tippingpointmath and sign up for free. And as a bonus to Tipping Point Math viewers, the first 200 people that go to that link will get 20% off the annual premium subscription.